Hi there, Daddy Longlegs here with another one of those Melodian uh, video tutorials. And I say Melodian, this tune is called the Concertina Reel. And probably uh, it started life on a concertina, probably an Anglo concertina, but has since migrated to uh, the Melodian. Um, I base my version on uh, a version I found on YouTube by Gilles Poutou. I hope I'm saying his name right. He's a French guy or French-Canadian guy, not quite sure which. He plays his on a big old four-stopper in D, so a one-row, uh, pretty loud Melodian. I've got a, a DG, so I'm going to play exclusively on the D row of my DG. Uh, these kind of Irish tunes are mainly right hand I'm going to put a few bass notes in towards the end to sort of capture the spirit of Gilles' version. Um, but like I say, mainly uh, just the right hand only. I've kind of dumped it down a little bit. But having said that, uh, we do have uh, over 190 bars of music. Um, when I got to bar 192, I, I decided to wave the white flag and start repeating a little bit. But even so, there's plenty to, to play here. If you're an absolute beginner, maybe just play once through an A and once through a B. Uh, what we have here are A and B sections repeated six times each. They're 32 bars long each. So, you know, it's a pretty lengthy piece, but you can do it at whatever level you choose. If you want to play the whole thing with me, that's great. If you think that's too much to cope with, then just play maybe a couple of A's and a couple of B's or one A, one B, whatever you think you can manage. So uh, let's get into it. Lots of the bars get repeated. I've made this chart that you can download, which shows all those repeats. As you can see here, uh, this bar, bar number 33, uh, gets repeated loads and loads of times. Uh, if there is a, a pair of brackets around uh, a bar, such as down here, it means it is repeated, but there might be a slight change, either in the fingering or the feel of the timing. But basically, it's fair to say there are lots of repeats in this, which is good news. It means you don't have to learn 192 completely different bars. So a few basics, we're in the key of D major, so only playing notes on the D row. All right, so we won't touch the G row at all in this. Key of D major, so that means F sharp and C sharp all the way through. And the timing is 6-8, which is compound duple time. 6-8 is six quavers but in two groups of three. So you count it, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it gives us that nice kind of rumpty, tumpty uh, feel. And uh, we're gonna start with a pickup bar. This is a bar that is incomplete. We actually come in on the sixth beat of that bar, uh, but you can just see that single quaver at the top of the page there, that B, and it's on the pull, my instrument is fourth button start. That means to say that my fourth button down on the D row, if I press it and push the bellows towards the closed position, that is a note D. So if my first finger's there, I call that position H, the position home, the home position, where the first finger is on the home or the root note, the D. So my third finger falls on this button, button six, and if I press that button but pull out, I've got B, my first note of the tune. If you've got a third button start instrument, for you that'll be button five. And every time I say a button number, you'll have to subtract one from that number. So you count one, two, three, four, five, six, coming on beat six, and then you're ready to start on the next stave, bar number one. It says A1 there because there are six A sections, number one to six, and six B sections, number one to six. And each uh, A section and each B section lasts for 16 bars. So that's a nice, convenient little um, chunk to deal with, isn't it? So bar number one, our first complete bar now. Now it's all on the push. We've just played B, this button, we pulled out. We've pressed the same button and push in. We've got A, our first note in bar one. And we've got dotted quaver, semi-quaver, quaver, crotchet quaver. So it's counted one, two, three, four, five, six. Like that. Not, not super smooth like that, but the first note is slightly longer. And so the second note a bit shorter. 
gives us that kind of feel. All on the push, like I said, the A is finger three, the D, button below it, finger four, return to the A, the button above the A is the F sharp, and then come back to the A. So we play the A note three times in that bar. Like that. So from the previous bar, like that. Now let's go to bar two. Right, we've got pull, push, push, pull. So a pull B, again, like we had in our pickup bar. Push in to get the A. Button above gives you the F sharp on the push. And if you press that button again and pull out, you get G. Now, a couple of ways of playing that. You can actually press individually for each note or do what I often do, which is just to let the bellows sound the notes. Like that, and like that. So from the beginning, 